Hey everybody. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Kat Fry. I am the owner and founder of Oxygen Coaching and I thought we would put out a quick video for those of you who are unfamiliar with us or maybe have watched our videos for quite some time and are kind of on the fence as to uh, what we do that's just a little bit different from um, what other coaching or training companies do. Um, I have been a part of a fair amount of networking opportunities recently and this question has arisen and sometimes I feel like when I get the same question over and over again, it's something that maybe others are thinking and just haven't asked yet. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, we're in one of my newer redone training rooms uh, that gives us the opportunity to actually train and do a little bit more visual representation today. So uh, welcome to our uh, newly pieced together uh, virtual training room. So the question that we're going to talk about today is what's the difference between working with an actual coaching group like Oxygen and an, a training company that comes in and specifically trains your employees to do something very, very specific? Um, and that kind of answers the question, but uh, I want to kind of lay it out just a little bit easier for you so that you can um, send us some questions if you have them, or maybe uh, just chat about it uh, online. We have an open forum on our website as well. So Oxygen, uh, we actually started um, as a body language training company with horses. You could bring your team in pre-pandemic. Uh, we taught you what your body language was putting out with the animals, and uh, everybody got a little bit of horse hair and a little bit of dirt, and uh the feedback commonly was that it helped relationships with your significant other, your kids, things like that. Which while we still do that and we love the horses, uh, the pandemic gave us an opportunity to do a little bit more training with your executive team and your sales team <clears throat> and it gives us the opportunity to actually come in and consult. Um, so this is a really big one for some of the companies that we work with it because this is what makes us different. When you work with an actual training company and there's lots out there that do a really great job. They've been doing it for a lot of years. Some of them are franchised and have some amazing hardcore proven material. They come in and they do very specific training for something that you know you need. Um, sometimes that is training that other companies have used, you've been referred in, it's awesome. Uh, we're happy to take the referral as well, but it's a little bit different. So you would call these companies and say, we need sales training. We need inbound customer service training. And these companies are going to come in and they are going to give you exactly what you ask for. Um, my, famous my famous saying is, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. <laughs> um, when you work with an actual coaching group, we will come in and we assess your people, not normally like uh, a normal company would. We actually are assessing for qualities and trainability, whether your people are, actual train, are actually trainable. And then we come in and start at the top and work your way down. So we start with your executive team, we train them and so that they know what to expect and start using the right uh, terminology and verbiage. We go to your sales team so that they know what to actually use and how to present their products, how to service the products. And then we start consulting with your HR department, um, your uh, your accounting department, anybody who takes an inbound call. Lastly, uh, if you have people that are in shipping, people that are on your shop floor, people that are potentially going to interact, or uh, in some cases, we even have people who have come back to work, maybe have been hurt and are going to take a desk job, we will fold them into the loop and train them as well. This is helpful because sometimes we talk a lot about working on your business versus in your business. The people at the top, um, CEO, CFO, CMO, CTO, all of those uh, titles have a tendency to make a decision that they're not, sh they don't realize will affect all of this. And we will come in and help run or just consult on those decisions, 
how they would affect you and how they will actually help or hinder your business. We talk a lot about emotional intelligence and emotional decision making here at Oxygen. And when you have an unemotional third party brought in, how based on how often you feel that you need it, you are able to see a little bit more clearly as to how that might affect the morale and the culture of your organization. We don't come in to shift your culture. However, decisions that you make can affect it. Culture tends to be a little bit of a buzzword. However, when we are talking about the incoming uh, generation of workers and the worker shortage that we currently have, it does tend to be something that we hear as feedback. HR managers and HR recruiters are hearing questions regarding. So we just want to make sure that uh, if you're spending the time and money to onboard, that we are employing people and keeping people that are worth having on our team. So we would love to answer any other further questions that you have. Uh, it is a pleasure to have those conversations, whether we choose to do business together or not. And you can reach us at our website, uh, oxygencoachinggroup.com. Any of our social media channels, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, I think we're on all of them. You can catch us. You can DM any one of our trainers and uh, we're happy to jump back and get you all the information that you need. In the meantime, I hope you and your team take just a little bit of time to breathe life in and we'll chat with all of you hopefully soon. Have a great day.